80s, the best cartoons on TV were the Spider-Man animated series and the X-Men cartoon. So when I saw a game that had them combined, you know my adolescent mind is freaked out! And after playing Spider-Man and X-Men in Arcade's Revenge, my pea brain just got beaten and pulverized straight into the ground! So the game starts out pretty normal. You play as Spider-Man shooting webs at robots and collecting little things. It was fun! And you really felt like Spider-Man climbing on the walls and web-slinging. It was great! But after the first level, man, does this game take a 180! Now, I don't claim that I know a lot about superheroes, but I'm not completely uneducated. For example, I know the boss that Spider-Man fights is the Shocker. Or is that Electro? But, you know, I I'm pretty sure that at no point has Spider-Man ever fought a giant red bat thing that craps rubies every time you hit it. And I also know that Storm flies. So why are all our stages underwater? Yeah. This game's also just way too hard. I have never beaten it. Hell, I have problems getting past everybody's first stage. Remember Spider-Man? Yeah, his stages can be over five minutes long. With three bosses. Cyclops, for some reason, is riding around on mine carts, which everybody knows sucks, and one bad jump mean, guess what, you're dead. And Storm, well, she's constantly running out of air, and every little thing you touch can cause damage. And Gambit has a limited amount of cards he can throw. Oh, and there's this giant spiked ball of murder chasing you the entire time! But that's not the worst. The worst comes from Wolverine. This is what I call Nightmare Fuel. Who comes up with this? As if the weird, creepy clown music wasn't enough, this background will haunt your dreams forever! Now imagine you're seven years old, just clawing things up like Wolverine, feeling like a badass, and you notice, oh my god! Yeah, take that, bitches! I'm Wolverine and ah! Oh, what is that? And the laughter. The laughter that never ends. You know, despite that tongue-licking teeth monstrosity being the only thing I see every time I blink, I actually kind of like this game. I mean, yeah, some stages are better than others, but I still have fun with it. And surprisingly, this game was made by LJN. I think they knew the game was going to be pretty good, so they made it hard as balls to get back at everyone who insulted their games over the years. And ultimately, they got the last laugh. Damn you, LJN. Damn.